Hi everyone, this is lecture three, and in this lecture we're going to be talking about something called light travel time. And in this situation, well, we're going to start off by thinking about light and how long it takes to get to us. So don't necessarily write down this page, but let's think for just a minute. I've talked a couple of times about Alpha Centauri, the nearest star other than the sun, and it's four light years away. Well, how long does it take light from Alpha Centauri to reach the Earth? Maybe pause for a second and think about that. Now, it's four light years away. Light can travel a distance of one light year in one year. That's what it means to be a light year. So if I've got to go four times farther than that, four light years, it'll take me four times longer to get there. So it would take four years for light from Alpha Centauri to reach the Earth. Not too bad. That's pretty easy to understand. The number of light years is always going to tell you the number of years it would take light from that object to reach the Earth. Well, okay, so light takes four years to get to us from Alpha Centauri. Well, let's suppose you were able to go out tonight and look at Alpha Centauri. If you looked tonight, when did the light that you are seeing tonight leave Alpha Centauri? Well, it's taken four years for that light to get here. So that light that you see tonight must have left four years ago. Um, I'm recording this in 2012, so that must have left Alpha Centauri in 2008. It's been traveling all that time to get here. And we can go more extreme than this, too. Mm. So the basic concept here Astronomical look back time says that light takes a long time to get across big distances. Light is the fastest thing we know. It's the fastest speed out there. But it still takes a long time to get across the ridiculously huge distances that we have in space. So whenever we look at an astronomical object, we're actually seeing the way that it looked in the past. And the farther away something is, the farther back in time we're seeing it. I took this picture from your book, figure 1.5, and imagine we're looking at several different things. So 7 billion light years. Here's a galaxy 7 billion light years away. We're seeing that galaxy the way it looked 7 billion years ago. This thing, which is not even a galaxy yet, 12 billion light years away. It's taken that like 12 billion years to get here. So we're seeing it the way it was even further in the past than what we were seeing with this one. And it turns out that the universe is about 14 billion years old. So the farthest we can see away is 14 billion light years. When we see something 14 billion light years away, we are seeing it at the beginning of time. So we've got a way to study the history of the universe because we can actually see back in time. We can see the way the universe looked 12 billion years ago. We can see the way it looked 7 billion years ago. We can look at Alpha Centauri and see something that was four years ago. So we can develop an entire picture of the history of the universe from knowing this. So let's take an example. This is number 13 in your packet. I've got a galaxy here, and I'm saying imagine that it's 5 billion light years away. The one in this particular picture is not. This one's about 60 million light years away. But let's pretend we've got one that's 5 billion light years away. And I'm asking you, how old was the universe when the light left that star, assuming that it is currently 14 billion years? Well, the first thing we need to know is when did that light leave the star? Well, it's 5 billion light years away, so the light left the star 5 billion years ago. All right, so how old was the universe 5 billion years ago? If you're having trouble thinking about this, get rid of the billions. Think about a kid. Suppose I've got a 14-year-old kid, 
And I wanted, and I'm saying, here's a picture of them from five years ago. How old were they when that picture was taken? You can immediately see it's they were nine years old. If they're 14 now and the picture is five years old, then I'm seeing them the way they looked when they were nine. Same deal with this galaxy. 14 billion minus 5 billion is 9 billion. So the universe was 9 billion years old when the light that we are seeing tonight left that galaxy. That's the basic concept.